Hello, it's Markham Matosh here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using Reillusion's Headshot within Character Creator 3 to create myself. So I'm going to click and drag a high resolution photo of myself, and don't mind the hair, I don't know why it's gone all crazy like that, but let's click, it. I'm a male, good, uh, beard and scalp, and then let's click generate. And after a little bit of time, this is where we're at, I'm just going to zoom in, and that's actually not to shabby just without doing anything now i'm using the pro setting so it's going to give me a lot more um, controls over what i can do the head shape yeah it doesn't seem too bad i think my face is a little bit longer than this so what i can do is i can come down into activate sculpt mode and then here we can change stuff around the other thing i'm going to do is activate image matching tools and there we go now we've got the sculpting tool overlaid over the photo and if we scroll down a little bit we can go up and down on the opacity and we can see that the model doesn't actually come all the way down so my chin's all the way down here but the model's actually there so what i can actually do is just kind of grab this chin bit and i can pull it down and because there are opacities all the way up there we go so now we can kind of see that line where my chin is now let's have a look at the side of the face. That seems pretty good. My nose seems pretty good. I have no ears. I've discovered once since I've been doing this, uh, which has been really interesting. Um, let's now just turn off activate image matching tools, hold alt, and we can rotate that around. I can see that my chin doesn't actually, I don't have a chin. I know I've got a bit of a bump on the chin. So let's come up into these settings up here. We've got our head. Let's go jaw, chin length. Uh, is it that one? Nope, not that one. And so now we just kind of play around with the sliders to get that one. That one doesn't seem too bad. What else we got? Chin width. It's not the chin width. I've actually got a bit of a pointy chin according to this image, something like that. And now I'm just gonna kind of play with my chin, double chin. I don't have a double chin. Uh, I do have a little bit of a double chin. <laughs> there we go, that's not too bad i mean if i turn off sculpt mode you can definitely see kind of like i know i've got that mole there exists um however i think the beard could be a lot thicker down here and the eyes let's go blue eyes beard and scalp that's correct skin i've got rough skin and a half the scalp like stubble that's fine beard light beard no i've got a dark beard and that'll update this. The next thing we've got to change is the eyelid mask because now if i were to close my eyes you can see that we've got this weird um, like warping of the texture. So if I come down into medium eyelid and now I can update skin texture down the bottom and we can see now that that has fixed up that section. So if I open up my eyes, we can see my eyes again. Um, the other thing we might do is also reapply the texture. So if I go activate image matching, we can see that we've got a bit of distortion just along here. So if I go, sorry, if I go opacity, we can see that it's kind of like a little bit warped because obviously I pulled the chin down. So let's go re-project a photo. And so now we've had this section here cleaned up. Let's just go opacity and we'll just kind of flick between the two. Um, we can see that the ears seem like they're in a good spot. The eyes look okay. I think on the model they could probably be pushed out a little bit. So just activate sculpt mode again and we'll select this one the eyes to make them look a little bit better. We can see that my eyes are actually a lot wider. So maybe if we select that, will that move us over? Where is that moving? Oops, control Z on that. And so that was only moving our eyelashes, not our actual eye. I kind of, let's undo that. Let's come into Mactivate Image Matching Tools. And we'll probably come about there and then we'll go into the fine adjustments. So I probably make our crow's feet a little bit bigger because I love to smile. <laughs> and maybe what we might need to do is maybe just let's increase the eye width a little bit and let's have a look. What does that look like? I think that was the wrong choice. Let's bring that back down to zero. And then it might be the eyes out of width. We'll just increase the size. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I think maybe the eyelashes need to be a little bit longer. So let's go eyelids, eyelids, eyelashes, outer length. Let's maybe increase the size of that because I've got big eyelashes. That's a little bit better. And eyelash length, probably something like that. That looks really nice. So let me just turn off that and have a look. That doesn't look too bad. What I'm going to just do is throw on some hair. I think that's not too bad. That's fairly close to what I look like, I think. 
Now we can see how the lips line up without any problems. And we can see kind of like the top of the head roughly where it should be. I think it actually could be a little bit bigger, but I think that's fine. I might leave it as is. The ears are back there. But yeah, other than that, that's looking pretty good. Kind of wish my body was this size, but anyway. And then from here, I could change the body. And if I want to get it into Blender, I just go File, Export with an FBX clothed body, come into Blender, Import, and there we go. I've got myself into Blender. Jeez, I wish that looked like this. So once again, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you updated with my content. And until next time.